Hey you guys, it's time for another chit chat. Y'all know how I do, I, I just be discombobulated. Girl, get your lights together. All right, y'all, how are you guys doing? I am glad to be back. It is, let me tell you something right now. It is, it has been a challenge to record videos. Uh, uh, what, what are we gonna call it? AC, after Corona. <laughs> Yeah, after Corona, BC, before Corona, I was okay. But AC, after Corona, girl, it, it's, a, it's a bit challenging because like most of you, I am homeschooling my child and I am working full time. Now, my job is extremely busy right now. I am a learning management, my eyebrows are crazy, girl. I am a LMS administrator, which means that I manage online training for my company. And so we're not slowing down. If anything, we are busy right now. Girl, it became real when I saw the ICD code, ICD-10 codes for the coronavirus. I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> so I am in healthcare IT. Um, I don't have healthcare experience, but I have IT experience, administrative experience. So that's why we're still busy in my field. So anyway, I say all that to say, hey girl, I'm back. Um, it will be a bit I'm trying to be consistent, but please know, work with me, bear with me, be patient. Um, I don't think I would be able to put out as many videos as I had anticipated, but you will see something on a weekly basis, so at least. Okay, y'all? So, y'all, first of all, um, let's get into this package. Now, I will be twisting my hair while chit-chatting, but I've been doing a little bit of corona shopping. Girl. Now, I'm an introvert. I'm okay with doing this. They're calling it social isolation. I'm like, uh, we've been doing that. What else is new? So I have some things that I purchased. I've been shopping like crazy. Not any hair products. I don't need any hair products. But I have been uh, doing um, clothes. I've been shopping for clothes. And I have an Amazon order. So the first thing I want to show y'all, this is my Amazon order. I purchased this. Her horizontal, I use the Happy Planner, and this was only $16. Let me open this up, because the planner I have now only goes into July. I'm having a hard time, y'all, taking this off, but here we go. Really cute, it has these purple lavender rings, and I'll just open up. Now what I do, you guys, I do something, this is the front cover, isn't this cute? I do something called Franken plan. So what that means is that I take bits and pieces of a planner and combine them with other planners I have. I have three planners. I don't use all of them. But what I do is I take out because you can remove this. So this is what the monthly layout looks like. I know you guys really can't see that. My brightness is on pretty. See, is that better? Yeah, and so I like the horizontal layout instead of the vertical um, to plan out. So what I'm going to be doing um, is more planning as far as homeschooling goes. And I have to get really, really, uh, really, really particular about how I spend my time at home and working. So this goes to the side here. I'm really excited about that. Now, what the hell is this? Oh, I bought my baby some headphones because he does have, my husband purchased him a laptop. This is, um, that right there is, uh, actually before all of this happened, and I'll get into it. The person calling me is from an online school called Arizona Connections Academy. We'll get into that later on. So I have some headphones with a mic. JB said he wanted a mic like he worked for Burger King or something. But this is for his little Google Chrome. My husband purchased him that book two weeks ago. Isn't God good? And now we're doing all, we're doing all of this online learning he has to do for his school. So this is for my baby. Now I thought I ordered, is it? I don't know you guys. I purchased um, CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. This is with sal salicylic acid. Um, you guys, my skin, I pride myself on having fairly good skin and clear skin. I am having horrible skin lately. If I could show you up close, you see how it's almost like a texture bumpy. 
um, my, my skin tone is uneven. I need to get into using products that have a little bit more acid in it and I need to get better with my skin regimen. I've been eating horrible too. So I think I'm going to do a separate video on how I'm going to get my skin together. It looks good. Okay. Now because I have on makeup, but trust on one of my vlogs, the one I was in Sedona, when you saw the close up and all of that, it just looked horrible. So I've been exfoliating weekly. I've been making sure to wash my face, um, using my um, vitamin C oil, just upping my regimen. Because honestly, you guys, I was one of those type of people who were like, you have beautiful skin, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I just wash my face and moisturize. Literally, that's it. But now I'm noticing some things going on, so I need to really take care of my skin, okay? Um, I purchased, what is this? Thieves oil, thieves oil. I purchased all this stuff before the uh, Corona, you guys. Some Jesus oil, some frankincense oil, okay. I got some books for JB. They have an African American um, little boy on it, and this says L. Ray Jakes, the Recess King. Isn't this? This book was just three dollars, three dollars, and we can read this together. I think this is cute, and then we have. L. Ray Jake stands tall and it has pictures in it, I'm assuming. So yeah, <laughs> all right, you guys, let's get started on this hair. So what have y'all been up to? Girl, they done shut down the whole damn city. Lord have mercy, y'all. We are up in the house, your kids at home, getting on your nerves. <laughs> uh, all your husband at home, getting on your nerves, your, your mama, daddy at home, girl. Um, we ain't gonna talk about the coronavirus the whole time because I'm done, y'all. I'm done. I'm tired of, of logging into Facebook, seeing people going crazy. Um, but we're gonna talk a little bit about it. So this could have been a I told you so moment for myself all over social media because those of you who've been following following me for a while, you know that I had a small prepping stash. And I know some people are like, girl, what are you doing? Even my husband. My husband would be like, I remember, when, I remember last year when he first discovered my stash. <clears throat> and um, I have everything in there from, from a water purifying system to a map, a solar panel radio, antibacterial soap, uh, hand soap, excuse me, body soap, excuse me tons of medical supplies. I have a huge storage container full of it. I kept between four to five gallons of water on me, tons of rubbing alcohol, antibacterial lotion. So I had all that, right? Okay. So of course we know now by the time I load this up, this will be the end of the first week of us being all being self quarantined, right? Oh, I got, I had a sense that something was about to, about to hit. So I would say two or three days before they started rationing stuff off, I went ahead and purchased a lot of water, a lot of water, a lot of food. Y'all, I'm sure, I'm sure the same thing is going on at your stores. They started, people started hoarding food. And it's just really sad to see how people, you know, I always tell people you would either react or respond, you know, to a situation. And it, it's kind of sad to see how people have been um, just j basically just being panicking and getting into a panic mode and hoarding supplies. So, because those of you who don't know, my husband is a medical technologist. And that is the person, he's actually a supervisor. That is the person who would test you to see if you have the disease. And he was letting me know before, you know, everything got bad. That he's like, yeah, the death rate is higher than the flu. However, the average person would be okay. One thing he did point out is that there are a lot of people who have underlying issues and they don't know about it. So you could be, you know, in your early 40s and have an underlying issue that you never knew because you're not going to the doctor and those people are, are going to have issues. But he told me last week they had a person come in. Um, and he was walking around fine. The only thing he, he tested positive, excuse me. He was walking around fine, okay, and the only symptom that he has is a cough. But besides that, they said the guy was fine. So, you guys, I understand the, the need, and he understands the need for a quarantine, but this panic that we're seeing, and just, it just saddens me to see so many people who are just 
afraid and I, I find that people are afraid of things that they don't know about the problem is that there is a lot of misinformation out there um and sometimes too much information can overwhelm you which is unfortunately i think the media has uh, contributed to that i'm not on social media that much I don't watch the news that much. I have someone in my household who's, who's testing people. I don't need to do all that, you know what I mean? So I'm not buying into the fear. I almost did. I was getting scared because I'm like, I have asthma and I have a suppressed immune system. My white blood cells are low as we speak. But you know what? I have faith in God, y'all. I mean, I know that's so cliche, but there is, my. We serve an all-knowing God, and we have to be very careful of allowing um, uh, this type of mentality, fear-based mentality, because this is a test of our faith. I've been waking up praying. I've been reading my Bible verses. I've been praying for other people, praying for myself, morning and night, okay? So, I think we'll be out for a while. We were told we'll be back, that the, our um, school will be, you know, up and running in another week I don't think so and I have the expectation that it will be but you know I know other moms who are just frantic you know and I, I understand because this is new territory we are doing okay um I think that it's a lot better for JB than that I think I think I'm being a little hard on myself but we have a schedule that I created for us. I'm not using that schedule that's floating around. Y'all seen that, that colorful schedule with all the different colors, the primary colors? I'm not using that. You have to do what's best for your family. Um, I'm also not taking the extreme. I saw someone post, we're not doing anything while my kid is out. I'm just gonna sit around, watch TV, eat popcorn. My child needs structure. If your child can get away with doing that, great, but my child needs structure and he will regress if we don't do anything. So we start at nine o'clock. And then we end at two. We have three blocks of learning that range from 45 minutes to an hour. Um, we have online train, uh, online, everything has been switched to online. So he has several assignments that are due during the day. But if we don't get everything done in one day, oh well. We get at least 80% of what he has to have due done. But if it doesn't get done, what they're gonna do? Kick us out of school? <laughs> Oh, well, we move on. I have included other things that I can teach him. Um, like the other day I taught him how to properly groom his hair, how to do his hair, he liked that. We'll be learning a couple of cooking recipes. So yeah, it's not just sitting home and making him do work. If he doesn't feel like it, I'm not gonna force a lot on my child. Because one, I'm still working, and two, no. Yeah, we're not doing that. Let's talk about what I've been watching on YouTube. Not a lot because everyone's talking about, you know, what I just was going over. So I am watching quite a bit of Fatal Attraction and, and um, For My Man videos. Let me tell you something. I told y'all before. I, you know, the one thing I have noticed that's very common with these stories is that at least the, um, the announcer, the moderator, whatever the hell you want to call her, the voiceover, says that things often change when the woman starts looking for love. And that's why it's so important, you guys, to really feel whole within yourself. You do not need a person. You don't need, I get it, it could be lonely. But girl, at least you're not doing eight to 15 behind bars because you kept your boyfriend hide a body. A lot of these women sometimes are not even actively involved in the murder. They're just there. They help them with the body and done, their life is over. So yeah, oftentimes they're looking for love, look. And and a lot of the times on these shows, there's always red flags, but the women choose to ignore it. Child, I'm adding this movie to my list. It just came out. We're gonna talk about this in my next chit chat. I'm gonna come back next week for y'all help us. Watch the limited series now. Self-made, Madam C.J. Walker with Octavia Spencer, Tiffany H Y'all, I'm sorry, but Tiffany Haddish gets on my nerves. Okay, so anyway, Tiffany Corman uh, Jojo, uh, Edge Corman Edge Ojo. But girl, I got some 1800 tea for y'all. So Leia Gordon did a video about Madam C.J. Walker. Apparently, Miss C.J. Walker actually got that pro uh, product idea from her mentor. 
Oh, yes, who was also a um a millionaire, okay? I don't understand why Madison J Madison CJ Walker is so popular, but yeah, this other lady. So uh, apparently <laughs> Madam CJ Walker was able to, I guess market her product a little bit better but girl y'all gotta check out that video by um leia i may i may go ahead and link it in this video just because hold on y'all someone just sent me something no never mind i got time well i really don't have time but because i'm not really going anywhere yeah i'm watching everything on tv this is so pretty yeah my hair is just cute like this this is a style <laughs> so anyway um what am I watching? So I finished watching The Outsider based on a Stephen King novel. Um, Miss Busby got me hooked on that series. If you can't get into weird stuff, it's not for you. But I liked it. I will say, I liked it up until the last two episodes. Um, and disclaimer, I will be having, <clears throat> I will be discussing some spoilers. Um, <sighs> Y'all, the last two, well, first of all, before the season finale, the episode, the episode before was just dragging. This entire hour could have been wrapped up in like the last episode. This could have been only, those two episodes basically could have been one episode. So the season finale of the, of the outsider has me completely confused. They go through, they go into the cave where this monster is at. So, so you guys, the whole show is based on this outsider. And it's um, basically a monster, a fairy tale monster who takes on the form of another person and it's through um, contact. So say you walk by me and you scratch me, then that's able, whoever scratches is able to transform into you. He's actually able to act almost like a parasite um, and it's through direct contract, direct contact through a scratch typically. So the first the, the first episode starts off, it was very, very graphic. I was not ready for the first episode because it has to do with child murder, okay? Which is small children. So you have two people, a man that's caught on camera being in the same place, two different places at the same time, which is not possible, of course. Well, it's this outsider, this monster mimicking this person. He basically has transferred into this person through a scratch. Well, he also is able to control people who have been affected, not by, not by actually taking on their body, but he almost infects them. He, he's like a parasite almost. But, and one of the, the um, lady that plays Holly, the young, um, I think she's, I think she's from, I think she's Nigerian, but she's from, she's English. Uh, she played Harriet something, you guys, in the Harriet movie. I can't get, I think her name is Crystal. I can't get her, I can't remember her first name. She's, she can sing really good from the color purple too. I'm watching another show on um, HBO called Avenue 5. I don't know, I don't know what to think of this show. It's, it's stupid funny. It's stupid funny, but it's, it's, I like it, but I don't love it. It's called Avenue 5. It's set in the future. Comedy, a little bit of gross comedy too. And I, I really don't do gross comedy that well, honestly. Y'all, I tried to get into Love is Blind, but honest, honestly, I do not care for um, reality dating shows. I know a lot of people are talking about it, but I, I, I tried to watch it, I turned it on, and when I saw what it was, I was like, no, I can't. I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll try again, but I can't do it for now. Uh, finished up Curb Your Enthusiasm, y'all. Larry, da Larry David is a complete idiot. Uh, he's a funny idiot. Um, and I've been watching Curb Your Enthusiasm since the first season. My favorite season was when Vivica Fox was on there and they introduced Leon. <laughs> yeah. absolutely hilarious and you know i've never watched one one episode of seinfeld and i probably never will but i like larry david i like him it was so funny he was on one talk show a couple of years ago and they this guy would do dna tests on random people that was there he had a high percentage of sub-saharan african in his like more so than the average white person all right so what else am i watching girl y'all Big Little Lies. When I tell you this show is giving me, giving me something I can't 
can feel. Yes, I'm. <laughs> yeah, I need to hurry up. I gotta go pick up my baby soon. I absolutely love this show with Big Big Little Lies. It has Nicole Kidman. Um, let me let me put, pull up the. It's, it's an all cast. Meryl Streep. Um, what is the main girl name, y'all? Let me tell y'all who's all in it. I love it. Nicole Kidman, Kidman needs to get her accent together, though, with the, because there was a couple of scenes. Her accent is all over the place. And, well, she is Australian. So Reese Witherspoon, um, Nicole Kidman, Shalane Woodley, Zoe Kravitz, y'all. Zoe Kravitz. First of all, I almost turned it when I saw her beautiful butt because I'm like, I'm not going to be able to do it. You on here looking all bits of fine and light skin. So she... <laughs> She's on there. My favorite, my because I at first I hated her. Renata, uh, Lord Laura Dern, Meryl Street, like I said. Um, it's really good. It is really, really good. And so it's just to give you an over idea, it's about a set of moms who are supposedly friends, and I, I use the word supposedly lightly. Um, so some of them are socialites, um, upper middle class, okay? And something tragic happens amongst them and they all share in this tragedy. And so they have to keep up all of these little lies, but at the end of season two, a big lie is revealed. It is, it is awesome, y'all. It is a good show. Um, and it's on HBO, by the way. It's called Big Little Lies, okay? Now... The show that came on just this past weekend, I was waiting on, girl, Westworld. When I tell you Dolores is a bad ASS, <laughs> I said all those curse words and now I'm spelling it out. Y'all, I need to, I, I'm trying to understand like how many years after season two, now it's season three. I want to go back and rewatch season two. Those of you who have not watched it, Westworld is a remake. I think the first, um, I think it was a movie or was it a movie or a miniseries came out in the seventies. Um, I absolutely loved West, uh, season one. Season two was okay, but it was almost like season one, but differently. It was kind of sort of, but it was still good. Season two was still good. And so, man, I'm all hyped up. Um, I can't wait to see what the next episode is going to be about. So, um, also, I'm watching... <laughs> told y'all, we at home. Girl, I'm watching a lot of dang on TV. And I ain't got time to be making these videos because I'm, I'm busy watching my TV now. Uh, Walking Dead. Walking Dead was giving me everything I needed. So, y'all, I was shocked as hell. Those of you who watch, watch, watch Walking Dead... I was so damn shocked when I saw that Alpha, so there's this group in The Walking Dead, which is the zombies, for those of you who don't know. There's this group that are called the Whisperers. And so the lead of it is called Alpha. She shit got a shaven head, look like she hasn't haven't washed her face in like 10 years, raggedy ass, girl, hot mess, horrible. I mean, it's, it's the end of the world, but still. So what they are known for doing is skinning the zombies taking the skin and placing it on their face and walking with the zombies. They're all demented. It's a cult. Um, and, and that way they actually are camouflaged because if you have zombie flesh blood on you, the zombies can't smell you. So anyway, child Negan with his fine self decides at first he was captive, right? But Negan is smart. He figured I'm going to, I'm going to milk this hoe. Excuse me. y'all. I'm going to milk this alpha. And I'm going to pretend like I like this woman, right? So I'm thinking, oh my God, for a while he had me fooling. I'm like, oh my God, Negan, you are flipped. You are flipped again. Because Negan was, we know, he was initially just a sociopath. I still think he is. And so the girl that seen a couple of episodes where she had, you know, went to come and thank him. I don't even remember what Negan did. But she was like, First of all, this heifer got completely butt naked. So when he turned around, he was like, dang, completely butt naked. She still has the skin of the dead person on her face. And she's just like, I just want to thank you for what you did. I'm like, girl, I'm giving him your pocketbook with that skin on you. I mean, damn, is, is this safe sex now, girl? And he even asked, he's like, are you going to wear that? He's like, ah, this is some kinky. He said, this is some kinky stuff. 
That's nasty. Nigga, that's fine, but that's nasty. Y'all, so she gave it up. She, look, she talking about, I'm, I'm thanking you, uh, just showing my gratitude. Girl, you wanted to mess with him as soon as you saw him with that. Not gonna give away the spoilers or that in case you haven't seen it, but I was very happy with the last episode. Yes, I was. So, all right, you guys, this is getting a little long. I will try to come on a little bit more. But real quick before I leave, y'all, girls, some of these restaurants, I know it's popular in certain parts of Texas and also in Georgia, but honey, out here, they are allowing you to get margaritas to go at a restaurant. Cause you know they shut down dining options. But if you want to get a margarita to go, how the hell is that gonna work, y'all? You can't have open containers in your car. So how does it look like I go to my favorite restaurant, get my entree, and get a, a margarita to go? How does that? How is that gonna work? <laughs> so anyway, y'all, that is it. I'm glad to be back. I hope you're glad to see me, cause we're gonna be on here a little bit more. I would try to have a lot more hair related videos and I would definitely be having more chit chat and vlogging on a weekly basis to keep y'all entertained so we can get through this girl. We are gonna get through it y'all, we are. Y'all stay safe, take care, bye.